Let's say you want to build two different websites using Drupal with different content, different users, different themes. Well, you could download the code and extract it into two different folders and make installs of them, but there's an easier and better way. It's one of Drupal's features called multi-site. It's been implemented ever since Drupal 4 and it's here in Drupal 8. With multi-site, you can have the same code and the same modules for multiple sites that have different content, different users, and different themes. So first off, to get started, let's go ahead and download Drupal at drupal.org. Go under Download and Extend, Drupal Core, and under Other Releases, you can find 8.0.8 .8 Beta 3. To save time, I have already downloaded this file here. So next, you can go to your cPanel. So here, let's create two databases. So one we'll call dogs. So let's make these websites about two animals. Let's make dogs and cats. Next, let's make our cats database. OK, now we need to create our user to access these database, databases. So let's scroll down and create our user. We can call this Drupal. And our password, we can use a password generator. Generate password. And let's copy this. And let's use that password. And that will be very secure. And let's create that user. Once that user has been created, scroll down again. And let's add that user to the cats database. Now let's add the privileges, alter, create, create temporary tables, delete, drop, index, insert, select, and update, make changes. Now let's add that user to the dogs database. Let's give it the privileges, alter, create, create temporary tables, delete, drop, index, insert, select, and update once again make changes. Now once you're done with this, you can go back home. And now let's create our subdomains. Now for multi-site, you can use subdomains or subdirectories. So let's make one subdomain and one subdirectory. So let's make the dog site a subdomain. This will be created under a dog's subdirectory in public HTML. So let's create this. Okay, and we can create the cats later. So go back home and let's go into our file manager. Click go, go, and here it is. So let's go ahead and create a new folder called Drupal. This will hold the core code. And let's go ahead and go into that. And let's upload the archive file that we downloaded earlier. Once this is uploaded, you can close out of this and reload. And here will be our archive so we can extract this. This will extract everything into another folder. Go ahead and open this. Select all and let's move all these files out to the main subdirectory, Drupal. Let's go out. Let's delete this folder. And now we need to tell Drupal that we have these multiple sites. So go under the sites folder and open up the example sites. Now this will show you how to make your sites.php file. It's basically an array named sites with the key as the URL and the value as the folder name. So it's in the format of port 
dot domain dot path. So this will be basically if you went to www.drupal.org colon 8080 slash my site slash test, which will use the example.com folder in your sites folder under Drupal. So let's close out of this and make our own sites.php. So click new file, sites.php. And let's use our code editor on this start our PHP tags and let's make an array called sites now the key will be dogs.colose.net and that will use the dogs folder now the other one we were going to make a subdirectory so we will do www.colose.net dot cats now since it's dot cats at the end, this will be using the cats subdirectory whenever we visit, for example, http colon slash slash www.colose.net slash cats. So let's go ahead and save this. And once this is saved, open up any terminal or a way to SSH into your web server. So for right now, I will be using PuTTY. Uh, we can click no on this. Uh, I've already logged in. So once you've logged in, let's go ahead and change our directory to the public HTML. Let's go into Drupal and let's go into the site. So here you can see there is already a default site. So if we go into this, you can see that there are already two files, default.services.yml and default.settings.php. Now we need to copy both of these into our dogs and cats sites. So let's go ahead and go out of this. Let's make our directory dogs and make our directory of cats. And let's copy the default services dot yml into dogs services dot yml and let's do the same for cats and now let's copy the settings dot php to settings dot php here and again do the same for dogs And then once you go into docs, you can see that these files are added here. So now we can go back out and go all the way back out to public HTML. Now there's one last thing we need to do. So my web server makes a docs folder whenever you create a subdomain. So we can go ahead and go into docs and you can see there's nothing here. But if we try to create a link if you load, first of all, if you load dogs.colosi.net, you won't get anything because there isn't anything there. So we need to link that with Drupal. So now if you do that, Drupal, and link that to dogs, and go, go ahead and go into dogs, and here, there's a Drupal file, but that's not really what we want. We want the dogs to have all the files of Drupal in it, not a Drupal in the dogs. So let's go back out and for this to happen we need to remove the directory of the dogs. So let me go back in and delete that file. Alright now we can remove the dogs directory. All right, so now what you need to do is link some S, which stands for symbolic. So it'll create a symbolic link from Drupal to dogs. So now whenever you go into dogs, so let's list everything we have right now. As you can see, it'll be colored right here, dogs. So whenever we go into dogs, 
it'll have exactly whatever files are in are in Drupal. So let's see that in the file explorer here. So if you go back out and let's go to public HTML dogs and let's create a new folder here for example let's say hi so if you create this and go back to Drupal see it already changed to Drupal which means this is Drupal it'll have that folder so let's click go again and it has that folder so now if we delete this and go to dogs the folder is gone so these are basically the same files just connected by two different folders so now let's make our cats directory. So let's link symbolically Drupal to cats. And now once we have this installed, we can visit dogs.colose.net and it will take us to the dogs install and another to colose.net slash cats, which will take us to the cats install. So let's go ahead with the dogs install. Let's choose English. Save and continue. Standard installation. Now for our database name, we named this dogs. And their username is Drupal. And for the password, we had copied that. So let's paste that in there and save and continue and let's let this install and let's go ahead and start on the cats install english save and continue standard install and this one we set it up as cats with the same username drupal and the same password for that user and if everything on your MySQL server is default, you don't need to change any of the advanced options. Just click Save and Continue. And we'll let this install. Okay, now the dog site is finished installing, we can go ahead and configure it now. So let's name it Dogs. Site email, we can just make that admin at example.com our username, password, same email address, and now let's enter in our country, time zone, we can leave that, and we can uncheck whatever we don't want, and we can click save and continue. And this will make the finishing touches to our dogs site so let's go ahead and finish our cats site while we're at it so let's name this cats again admin at example same username again you can change the username since these are two completely different sites using the same code but they have different databases Save and continue. And there we go. Here we have our dog's site. So we can go to configuration, our appearance. And let's say we want this Stark theme. Let's just go ahead and install that. And let's set that as default. And over here we have our cat site. So now if we go back to the site here, you can see that these websites have two completely different themes. And they're basically like two different websites except for the fact that they run on the same code and share the same modules. So there you go. That is how you set up multi-site in Drupal 8.